That was CBS2 exclusive. For the first time, we are seeing what investigators saw when they entered the garage of Indiana's most controversial abortion doctor. In 2019, Dr. Ulrich Klopfer died. Weeks later, his family discovered dozens of boxes containing thousands of fetal remains. Chris Ty here now with this story and images you'll only see on two. Marie, we may never know why Dr. Ulrich Klopfer did what he did, but tonight, our closest look and our cleanest insight into how he did it. In the 31 years that I've been doing this job, I've never seen anything like this ever. And for the first time, you are seeing what Dr. Ulrich Klopfer kept hidden inside his Will County garage, surrounding his cars, tucked behind luggage, stacked to the ceiling, boxes, some of them wilting, some of them coolers, all of them containing fetal remains, 2,246 remains in all. They are from cases he handled from 2000 through 2002, only discovered after his natural death in September of 2019. Hundreds and hundreds of boxes that we had to go through to make sure there were no more of these remains. These images obtained exclusively by CBS2 show the remains were often kept in boxes addressed to his Indiana abortion clinics. Investigators believe from 2000 through 2002, he bagged and boxed the human tissue, cataloged and stored it here at his Creek Township property. He stored nearly 200 more inside this old Mercedes found days later. A team of 50 sorted through the sorted evidence of an abortion doctor whose habits at home made for a crime he'd never be charged with and a case they'll never forget. Probably one of the most unusual uh, cases in our careers. This case was spearheaded by the Indiana Attorney General. That case in Indiana ended late last year, which allowed these photos to be released for the very first time. And while we will never have a motive from Dr. Klopfer, we do know that there was a funeral for all 2,411 of those fetal remains late last year. Chris, of course, Klopfer died before he could be charged with any of the crimes, like taking those remains across state lines. And is it believed that they were all remains from his specific patients? That's exactly right. Patients from 2000 to 2002. What's not known, Marie, is whether any of the patients who saw Dr. Klopfer in that window of time may be aware of this story and whether they reached out to the Indiana Attorney General to say, hey, did you find my name? Did you find my case number in any of that evidence in that Will County garage? We don't know the answer to that, but if people still want clarity, the AG in Indiana says they can still reach out and offer them closure if they're so inclined. An inside look at this disturbing case. Chris Ty Forrest, thank you, Chris.